Hey, this is Fiber Hot Michelle, and this is my new puppy. I gotta tell you, if you want something to cheer your spirits up um, and make you get up, even though we've had a few instances where there's been some potties, get yourself another puppy. Oh, Coco, look in there. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick response to. I don't really respond to the haters because they're just stupid, you know. Usually if somebody's left you one piece of negative feedback, you look at their site and they've looked at uh, 50,000 videos but never put up one. So you can't really uh, judge anything by that and they're not sick. But when you get somebody with fibromyalgia and they're upset with you because they have fibromyalgia but they don't have pain. <laughs> oh, God. All I gotta do is say educate yourself. Don't judge. Don't be an idiot. You know, look at my videos. Look at the comments. I've had five to six thousand comments. Okay, maybe seven or eight or nine bad. I'm glad you're not in pain yet. I'm happy for you. But Co and and Coco Taylor is happy for you too. But uh, you know what? Fibro comes in many forms and it starts in many different ways and yes they're finding results that it does come from your family and it usually runs in families in different ways so don't judge everybody's at a different level I didn't start out in this much pain I'm 43 I've had three or four or five or six concussions I've had a few car wrecks I was a cowgirl I was a singer and Key West on stage, I played drums. I've done many things that many people have it. I had a hysterectomy that I shouldn't have had because I had good insurance for once in my life. So, you know, I'm at a different level than other people are. And unfortunately, I'm hearing that some younger people are also, and I wish they weren't. I wish they weren't in the pain that I'm in. But, you know, you can't say that I'm not in pain just because you're not. That's just stupid. It makes you look stupid, okay? There's a little thing on the top of the screen when you go to uh, the computers called Google or a search engine. All you got to do is look it up and do some research. There's some great resources out there. Um, if I have to tell you what they are, then you're dumb. Okay? So I'm here just to basically tell you my experiences. I don't dole out any advice unless you ask me for it. I just kind of tell you about my day I kinda tell you what I'm feeling and not really even for you I do it for me because I need to get it out there and I don't always wanna just have to put it on one person which is my girlfriend I wanna just be able to get it off my chest you know because your family your girlfriend your friends that think they know will never understand they see you one day a month and you get it up and you do your hair and you put on your makeup and they say oh you're too cute to be sick so you know what you let them think they're right because once you finally get away from your disease you don't want to talk about it and you shouldn't right right Coco this is Coco Taylor this is what you should think about you should try to get away from your disease whenever possible I love when you guys give me comments I haven't been on recently because I've had a bad five or six days with pain this girl is like all upset because uh, she's got FM, but she doesn't have the pain, so she doesn't think it's normal. Oh, she should just feel happy because you know what? It'll come. Especially now. Huh. I got the evil eye on her. I'm just kidding. Anyway, Fibro Hell Michelle, do not pick on your fellow fibromates. We have a rock front of time. Instead, we should get together. We should try to post doctors that understand. We should get XRMV, the virus that they've been hiding away, like HIV, out there. We should be doing a lot of things and helping each other instead of pulling each other down. There's idiots out there for that. All right, Fibro Michelle. Damn, I've had enough. Goodbye.